Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of 69 Baja Outdoors. I know that I'm shooting these things out like crazy, but I'm super stoked to get this car on the road, uh, and I have some time on my hands at the moment, and uh, so we're going to get her done, hopefully. But today is the day that we're going to get the fender done. i got to prep one, pay both of them. I still have to pull the wing off the car uh, and get that prepped for paint, and... It's still a little chilly in here this morning. So, uh, it is, yeah, not close, 46 degrees. I think the ambient temperature in the shop is about 50, but it actually changes 55 by the roof and 45 by the floor. So, uh, let's, uh, let's fire up the wood burning stove and uh, get some heat going and I'll get prepped on that right away. We're gonna have to let the fire kick up for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna start sanding in the process. All right, everybody, fenders are done. They are prepped for Bondo. And it is now, bam, 64 degrees on that can. That means it's been ready and I'm sweating like a fat kid in a candy store. So let's get to it. get to the fenders last night however we're gonna to get to it right now we're not wasting any time so let's get started now that the fenders have been painted it's time to reveal them and unfortunately, they're a little bit darker than the car. The car is actually a 2017 Jeep Anvil, which is PDS paint code. That was mixed in Raptor Liner. It could be uh, due to um, the fact that this is actually a paint and not Raptor Liner. So I don't know if that's the color difference. You will notice that they are slightly different Maybe a little more than slightly, but you know what? It's okay. I'm going to run with it. Uh, I don't want to waste time on aesthetics, but it is the same paint code, just different products. So I'm guessing that's what the issue is. So at any rate, let's get them on the car and see how they look. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually holding the fender inside the car. The inside of my door jams were actually painted with that paint code. So it's not that far off, but you can see that the Raptor is definitely lighter than that. So there it is. Don't mind my mud. You know, we gotta, we gotta test stuff as we go, you know, but uh, I did put some fender beading in it or more like edge molding, but yeah, once we get some mud on there, you'll never know. But, uh, yeah. Ugh. Don't know if you guys can see that. But they're definitely bolted up good. That one there goes to the sidebar. It's part of the sidebar. And that one. This one I had to leave out because of the drip edge. Or, I'm not really sure what to call it. But, that edge inside the fender well and then there's the other one I'm gonna get a better look at it there's kind of a nasty gap in there but so you can see where this this drip edge runs so I don't know maybe some kind of three-quarter inch uh, 
rubber molding or something, I'll be able to find something to put in there. Or, I mean, I'd hate to use silicone on it. But I don't think they came out that bad as far as uh, how they look on the car. Well, this is definitely not prime time spray painting, but it is what it is. It's 60 degrees out today. So we're going to make it happen windy so uh we're gonna see how this goes and uh we're using raptor well as you can see painting the rear wing in the wind was not a good idea that didn't come out so bad but this side i'm thinking maybe after i wash it it'll go away all right she could just be paint mist because i wiped it and it kind of came off so uh but the colors aren't that far off but again it's probably a uh, raptor liner to actual paint because the raptor liner was tinted as a pds paint code and but uh yeah, I like the way the fenders came out. She looks good, I think. I mean, could be better, but I'm not a professional, so I'm just a guy in a garage. Well, that's really all we have time for today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, Mark Gibbons, thank you so much for these fenders, man. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Man, the sun's bright. Uh... And uh, we will catch you all on the flip side.